Hey, what's up? I'm Chuck D. Uh, I usually have no skin in the game, and I'm a big fan of Knicks Fan TV. And I, and I don't have my Knicks Fan TV in this office right now, so I won't be able to give this analysis. Now, I know I don't have any skin in the game, but I'm a Knicks fan since 1967. And when D. Rose went down, Derrick Rose went down, I personally thought from a fan point of view, like no point guard is really going to hurt us, backup, starter, or whatever. So January and February, we've gone through hell with the biggest leads. Nobody's blown us out, but we've had big leads and we lost it because the second half, the point guard situation or somebody handling the ball turns into a carnival. So really right quick, what's happening? Deuce McBride, I'm giving the young man props right here because it's not he's not a miracle worker, but he's a dude that can handle the ball. Ever since Kimball Walker went down with the injury, he's a different type of player. We don't have a ball handler. Deuce McBride, along with his defense, is, is impeccable, at least handling the ball and getting rid of the ball. So what, what I've stumbled on from the fan seats, right? I ain't got no skin in the game, but I would tell you that a, a, a basketball team is like a band. Okay, everybody can't exactly play at the same time without orchestration or something to actually feel that they have a chemistry. That's what a point guard does. Okay, so and I've been privy to some of the biggest bands on the planet Earth. Okay, when everything fails, your point guard's like the drummer. The power goes out. At least the drummer could drum, and he is heard or she is heard, regardless with the tempo of the song. Anyway, Deuce McBride. Okay. Deuce is almost, people talk about, oh, Deuce should be bringing the ball up. I don't know if they stumbled on this, but having Deuce McBride flank the, the sidelines, there's more science to that than we think. It allows the four players, right, that the Knicks have, Randall, sometimes they might have, right, RJ, right, uh, go over to the side, um, R.J. Barrett, then they have whatever they might have, Burks, Fournier, but then you have Mitchell Robinson, or even Sims sometimes in the middle. These four orchestrate are able to go into the to the hoop area and do their thing. IQ has been doing this and then cutting through on this Lou Williams type of thing, right? When he doesn't have the point guard, and, th and what they did is kind of like flip the point guard to the side who looks at the rim. You know, he's there. Deuce has been there in case of emergency. When they scramble and all crazy looking like a carnival, right? They kick the ball out to Deuce. And then Deuce kind of like resets. And he looks at the floor. And he might kick it back out here, go in the middle. And then, of course, he could go here and shoot the J or even dribble to the top. It's been, it's been an accidental surprise for the Knicks because Deuce is going to play that defense. Not that he's a miracle worker. But the fact that his skill set and the fact that they have the point guard flanking the side, it ain't like, oh, man, they just wasting Deuce. He's not a, a, a corner Kev Knox, you know, just on the side waiting for a shot. He's there in case of emergency. He's your drummer. So what's been happening to the Knicks when he's been in the game, he's been stability. He's been stabilizing. IQ could dribble the ball. His freestyle makes sense with a point guard out there. When the point guard is not there, he's the only guy playing the point. It's it's a recipe for disaster. Same thing with Burks coming up, bringing up the ball. You take his powers away because Burks is your assassin who gets the ball and orchestrates in here, but you got to have a mind. You got to have a drummer orchestrate the tempo in case Anything goes down, you kick it out to your drummer, he resets. Chuck D, Knicks Fan TV. Like I said, I have no skin in the game. I'm from the fan seats. But this is what has stabilized us the last three games. Gone. 9 nothing run. McBride out top. Good show by Biombo on the two-man game. Reddish. Big-time shot by Cam Reddish. Strictly working against Mitchell. Looks like he pushed off with the off arm. No call. Here's McBride. Knicks won that game wire to wire. Clippers have never led in this game. You want to make sure your players execute and continue to play the right way. McBride knocks down the three. 
Randall asking for the lease papers on this building right now, the way he's playing. And it is contagious. When one player gets going on your team, it's funny how other players feel very comfortable. Julius Randle has every other Nick swelling up his chest right now, and there's an alley-oop. R.J. Barrett leads all scores with 14. He had 32 earlier this year. Robinson blocks Luka, who is gliding inside. And Miles McBride is isolated on a fast break, but he'll still go to the cup and score.